So you're a short person that's ready to choose that first motorcycle. I can probably help you with that. So a couple of things you need to consider, not just the seat height of a motorcycle, but also the weight. The weight is gonna play a huge factor. I mean, that bike you're looking at may only have a 25, 26 inch seat height and be a cruiser, but it might also weigh 600 pounds. Does it have running boards or is it just foot pegs? So let's take for instance, the Yamaha V-Star that I used to own. So that thing was like a 25 and a half inch seat height, super low. But it was a really heavy bike. It weighed like 550 pounds. Beast of a bike. Super comfortable, great bike, great motorcycle. But it could be a little difficult to manage at that weight because, you know, cruisers are a little bit wider for the comfort, things of that nature. Your legs are spread out a little bit more. And with all that weight, sometimes it was hard to walk the bike backwards. So look at that factor when you're looking for motorcycles. And besides the seat height, you need to look at the seat width. Take for instance, this Kawasaki Z650. See how slender that seat is in the frame? I mean, that is super narrow. And that's what make the, makes this bike really easy to manage. I mean, when you can stand over the bike at this angle, and you can see that the seat and the frame just taper down so narrow together. I mean, I can lay my hand across that for you. That's how narrow that is, so narrow. And that's one of the big important factors you need to look at on a, on a bike is if you're short, how narrow was it going to be in the saddle? Because that keeps you from having to spread your legs out far to clear around the bike to get your foot on the ground. So you can see how slender it is. I mean, it's so easy to be able to get on this bike and get your feet on the ground. It makes it extremely easy to balance. And also, it's a fairly lightweight bike on top of that. So if you're looking for a naked sport or sport style bike, this Kawasaki Z650, hey, they're flying cuts. This Kawasaki Z650 is an excellent, excellent motorcycle for someone that's short. I mean, out of the FZ07, the SV650, and then this Z650, this was my bike of choice. I went in to buy an SV650, great bikes, absolutely awesome bikes. But when I sat on this Kawasaki, it, it was love. I mean, that's how comfortable this bike feels to me. It's a great position. So go out, sit on it, see what you think. Now, a couple specific models that I could suggest if you're a really short person. Let's see, you've got the um, SV650, the Z650, the Ducati Scrambler, the Yamaha V-Stars, the Honda Rebels, uh, I think the Suzuki Boulevard S40s, the older Kawasaki Ninja 500s, uh, late 90s or mid 90s, great little bikes. A um, little old school as far as the styling goes in today's comparison, but they're a really good bike to learn on. And when you get an older bike like that, you know, it'll be a little bit less upsetting for you if you drop it or ding the bike up or you know, have an accident with it when you're learning. You won't be out 10 grand versus you know, two grand that you could probably pick the bike up for. So you don't always have to go with that dream bike to begin with, that nice brand new shiny bike. Go look at and see what's out there that's used. This time of year through the winter time, you can pick up some bikes for a super, super good deal. People that are you know, just wanting to unload, they may have bought a bike and decided it's not for them. You know, and that might be the case for you as well. Go get something that has a decent set of specs, sit on it. Sit on 
all kinds of different bikes before you make that final decision sit on cruisers sit on sport bikes see what is going to match the comfort level that you're expecting if you want both feet on the ground then by all means find something that's going to suit that but keep in mind one of the least performed activities you're going to do is put your feet on the ground I mean, unless you're in bumper to bumper traffic all the time, then you probably don't want to be on a motorcycle anyway. But one of the least things you'll do is, is put those feet on the ground. So as long as you feel comfortable with the balance of the bike, go sit on it. If you can only get the ball of one foot on the ground to hold a bike up, if it feels comfortable as far as the center gravity and the balance point, you'll probably be able to manage that bike just fine. And do these little exercises once you do choose a bike like this. Get on the bike, stand it up, put a foot on a peg, and then just see how long you can balance it before you put your feet down. And that's going to be a huge help. If you'll just, even in your garage or your own driveway, just practice. You can manage any bike that's on the highway no matter what height you are. You just have to get comfortable with it. If you do decide you want a brand new bike to start out on, right now is also a good time to do that at the dealerships. There are a lot of rebates going on. They've got the year-end clearances. Super good time to buy a motorcycle with the bonus bucks, the rebate cash, all that. You can apply toward the purchase price, which is already marked down on the bikes. They're getting ready to move in the 2018 models. I mean, it's a buyer's market from now until about February. But take your time, do your research, go out, sit on it, go to dealerships, test them out. You know, as far as test them out, take, take a friend or somebody with you that's, you know, that they can help you maybe balance and get on the bike. I mean, I get a lot of questions from people asking, you know, I'm, um, this height and I'm looking at this bike can I ride it you can ride anything that you want to ride but I can't tell you personally how it's gonna to feel to you that's one thing that you're gonna just have to go to the dealership or go to the individual that's selling the bike and just sit on it see what you think so I hope this helps you guys a little bit with a, a little bit better understanding of some of the points that when you're doing your online research, you can look at the weight of the bike and look at the wet weight of the bike. That's with oil, fuel, everything. Um, for instance, you know the you know the KTM 690 Duke. That thing has like a 33-inch seat height, I believe, but it only weighs 350 pounds. That would be a super easy to manage bike. That is. That is damn light for a motorcycle. So take that into consideration. You know, it, it may have a, a little higher seat height than what your inseam or whatever is. And when you sit on the bike, it's gonna compress about three quarters to one inch. You have to think about that, depending on your body weight. And the suspension may not be set up exactly for someone of your body weight. If you're a little bit lighter person, you'll want to get that softened up, get the sag adjustment and everything taken care of so it actually fits you appropriately. Oh yeah, guys, what's up? But take your time, do your research. Don't let your friends push you into a certain style bike like a thousand cc super sport or whatever oh you can handle that you can ride that they're not going to be the ones that are riding this bike so if you don't feel like you'd be comfortable on that model don't buy that model well guys and gals i hope you can take away some information from this video and maybe have a little clearer picture on what to actually look for when you're shopping for that bike that's going to suit you you know, and after that first season or two, when you've got your experience on whatever bike you start out on, you know, after that first season or two, once you have your experience up, you can go get that dream bike, because then you'll know what you're doing. But good luck, 
Rod Safe. If you have any questions, comments, whatever it is, please feel free to drop me an email or a comment below. I'll get back to you and try to help you guys out with anything in the world that you might need help on. So thanks for watching and ride safe. We'll see you next time.